Good evening. Glad to see everyone out with us this evening. If you're visiting with us, we're especially glad that you're here. And if you would take out, just take a few moments to fill out one of the visitors' cards, and uh, we'll come around and get those in just a moment. We'll be meeting Sunday at nine o'clock for Bible study, ten a.m. for worship service, and then again Sunday evening at five o'clock. A couple updates on the sick: Doris Newman still in Health South Rehab, but she hopes to go home later this week. Shelby Jean Jones had hip surgery on Monday. She's still in Huntsville Hospital. She's going to be there a couple of more days, and then she's going to start rehab. And then Totsy Sanders, he went and had some tests run today. He'll get those results uh, Friday. So let's keep all those in our prayers. Helping hands, remember, you're going to meet tomorrow at 10 o'clock at the home of Doris Renfro. And the fellowship dinner is going to be Sunday night. That's for the birthdays and anniversaries in December and January. The theme is going to be potluck. Service Team 2 is scheduled to do the setup and cleanup for that activity. Tonight, our song of invitation is number 337, 337. Our closing prayer will be led by Chuck Helms, and we'll turn it over to David Robinson. One real quick note. Our blood pressure checks have been going very well, and I promised a few people a recheck tonight, so I've got my stuff, and after, uh, after services tonight, we'll give you a recheck and see how we go from there. <clears throat> About a year ago or sometime within the last year, I got a text message from Lonnie Jones one day while I was just out doing something and it said, hey man, we're going to start a chaplain program in the fire department. Wonder if it'd be okay if I picked your station. And I said, sure, that'll be fine. Go ahead. Uh, that'll work not any problems and then I got to thinking after that I said wait a minute what did I just do I invited a preacher to come and just have an open door policy where I work at come to work with me come hang out with me see what we do see what everybody else there does I'm not too sure about that now uh, how would you feel if a preacher was going to come and hang out with you all day or just had that opportunity to uh, for me, it's not any problem, um, and it's not anything that I worried about. I just got to thinking about it afterwards and thought, well, you know, do I want a preacher seeing everything that we do and everything that goes on? In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, we read, We are his workmanship, created in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We are his workmanship. That means we are on display. Look around you. Everything that you see is somebody's workmanship. Uh, the pews, your clothes, it's the product of somebody's work. Uh, look at the beams overhead. Those are on display, things that you can see that people have done. For me, this building is different than it is for most of you I sit here and look at these bricks, and I was here when these bricks were laid. I remember being right up there at the top, working on those bricks, uh, working on these bricks around here, me and my brothers. This is our workmanship. It's on display. I have to see it all the time. One thing that's always a danger when you do work yourself, if there's anything wrong with it, it jumps out at you. Nobody else will ever notice it. I can tell you there's nothing up here that jumps out at me. It's one thing that I worried about when we were building that. If there's something crooked, something wrong, it would drive me crazy. But everything that you see is somebody's workmanship. We are God's workmanship. He wants to put us on display so that people can see us. Another impor important phrase besides being his workmanship, is that we are created in Christ Jesus. We are, are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Important phrase that we are in Jesus. When we are in Jesus, we are his workmanship. So what does that mean to us? A couple of scriptures that we can look at to help us understand that just a little bit better. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. 
So if we're in Christ, we are God's workmanship. We are a new creation. Also, Romans chapter 6, verse 3. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? So to be baptized, we're baptized into Christ Jesus. So if we're in Christ, we are God's workmanship. We are baptized into Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verse 27. I'll start at verse 26. For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So just a couple of points for us tonight. If we are to be God's workmanship, God wants to put us on display. How would you feel if your life was on display, whether it was in front of the preacher while you were at work, whether it was in anything else that you do, how would you feel about it? Well, the truth is your life is on display, no matter where you're at, in front of your family, in front of your kids, at work. So whether you're God's workmanship or not, your, your life is on display. If you don't want your life to be on display, then that, that indicates that there's something wrong. You, maybe you're not living the way that you should. We also saw that we must be in Christ to be his workmanship. And we, we read that if we are baptized into Christ, we put on Christ. So an opportunity tonight, if you don't want your life on display because something that you do or something that you've done, we're here to help you with it tonight. If you are not in Christ and you need to be baptized in Christ, there's more to it than just that. If you maybe want to study to learn more about it, but we are here and able to help you tonight. Ask you to come now as we stand and sing. closing hymn 193 <clears throat> we'll have our closing prayer after the first and last stanzas <clears throat> guide me O thou great Jehovah pilgrim through this barren land I
us pray. Dear God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you've given us, Lord. Thank you for all the many blessings of life. Thank you for our health, our home, and our food, the many things you've blessed us with. Lord, bless our sick and the many that we know that are sick or unable to be with us. Heal them, Lord, for be your will. Go with us, Lord, through a new week and or through this week, Lord, and keep us all safe on our jobs and do the best we can do to, to do the right thing. And bless us and bring us back to the next appointed time and forgive us for what we fail and what we sin, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.